The state controller out with new numbers showing a decrease in the number of EMS workers in the state, and it could be because there hasn't been an increase in their pay. To explain and the numbers, here's Thomas Caffarella. That picture right there, you know, um, there isn't one person who left angry out of this. They all moved. New numbers from the state comptroller's office show a 17% drop in EMS personnel in the state. The drop happening between 2019 and 2022. CEO of Indian River Ambulance Service Lance Ronis has seen it firsthand. We had 60 volunteers. Uh, we now have about 20, 23 or 24. Like 31% of squads across the state. Indian River runs with both volunteers and paid staff. Economically, we can't afford to have more paid people. And the state report says lower pay for EMS workers makes it difficult to recruit and retain staff. And when it comes to regions of the state, the North Country as a whole pays the lowest, putting the hourly median wage at $15.81. Compare that to Rochester, where the average hourly wage is near $20. It's appalling. Our folks could go to the uh, retail services, some of the fast food industries, and make a higher wage uh, than doing that. While some of the statistics do paint a negative picture of the EMS industry in New York State, there are some positives as well. Barter says Jefferson County has a strong base of ambulance squads. If it didn't, the county would have to do what 21 other counties around the state are doing, and that's making emergency medical services provided by the county. At this point, we haven't the need for that. Mm -hmm. uh, and in part, I don't think we want to do that. The state comptroller says the stakes are too high and local governments can't handle this alone, calling for direct state involvement so reliable ambulance services continue. Thomas Caffarella, 7 News.